So these transformers we brought on for the first time yesterday, typically you we call a transformer soak, which is essentially you just energize it. You don't put any sort of a load on it. So you just let it sit. Um, so we did that yesterday morning. We have open low side switches on this side. You can see the main 34.5 switches are open. They are locked out and we also have grounds applied because we have men working, men or women, working on the low side of the substation. So in order to stay compliant with OSHA and keep our guys safe, you have to have at least one open point, physical open point, and grounds applied between that potential energization source and the people working on the line. So I, I really started this video just now because there was an issue with these transformers that I just noticed. We have two, two of the exact same transformers. We just brought them both online yesterday within an hour of each other. Again, there's no load on each of them. You can see that the low side switch is closed on the far side and on this side. There's no load on these. It's simply just sitting there um, energized. So first thing I noticed coming here is that the fans are on. So I'm thinking, okay, the fans might be set to a lower temperature because those, those fans really shouldn't be running unless there's a significant load on the transformer. Well, there is no load. So I came and looked at the settings that were inside the box and they were right. I came to look at the, the gauges and you've got about 52C for the liquid, which is the oil temperature, and that's Celsius. And the windings is uh, right about the same, a couple degree, maybe a couple degrees higher. What you what you never want to see is the winding temperature significantly higher than the oil. That means that the oil is having trouble cooling the windings uh, efficiently, or it means that the windings are getting significantly hot and uh, it's, it's rising faster than what the oil can cool it. So it's never something you want to see. So the, the temperature of the windings and the oil is the same. So that's a good sign. But those fans shouldn't be running right now. There is no load. So what I decided to do was come over to the second one. Again, it's the exact same unit. And check those temperatures. And the fans aren't running, right? So that's another good sign that that's normal for these conditions. Even if it's on a hot day, those shouldn't be running. So if you look at these windings, you're roughly 40C liquid temp and right at 40C for the winding temp. So that's more of a temperature that you would see in conditions like this. It's just a little warm out, but uh, nothing crazy on the temperature. So. Obviously, if there's a difference of 20C between this transformer and the other one, there's a problem. So immediately went inside uh, and opened the breaker to the transformer on, on the north side that we're looking at right now. So from there, I've taken pictures of the temperature gauges for both transformers, the name plates for both transformers, and we're going to get those into the transformer manufacturer immediately to see what they say. So. Um, that's just generally some things to look out for when you first walk into a substation that may be new is check those knife blades, making sure those are closing, check the winding temperatures on the transformers, and there's plenty more to look at, but uh, because of this incident, I'm not even going to worry about the rest of it yet. So we'll get this, uh, this big issue taken care of, and I'll probably continue on the video or make a new one. Thanks.